Shut up and sit down. Hey, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. Are you now? You're not mm-hmm. four ferrets in a sock? Or... How dare you? <laughs> You're normally some number of animals in a some kind of clothing. How dare you? Fine. My reputation as eight rabbits in a slipper. <laughs> oh dear. Well, if a... Were... Oh no. Oops. Spillage. Oh no. And it wasn't me this time. Yes. Oh dear. Well. Oh no. Oops. 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 What do you expect to make rabbits in a slipper? Not a lot, exactly. apparently. Well, if you enjoy our videos, spillage or no spillage, then please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell thing over by those rapids. Rapids? Rapids. <laughs> rapids in no, a slipper. No, no, there's rapids. <laughs> How will we stay in the slipper? <laughs> but for now, we're drinking these drinks that are splashed around a bit and called... Sleepy Jean. Sleepy Jean. And why are they called Sleepy Jean? Because it's Jimmy. Oh. Well, and uh, we are surprising each other with movie trailers that the other person has not yet seen. What do we have next? Well, this intro was so long and rambling that I've almost forgotten. Oh, but no. this is a movie that comes out in February. And would you be thrilled if I told you it was a movie about an opioid epidemic? No. No. However, would you be thrilled if I told you it was a movie that starred, in no particular order, Gary Oldman... Evangeline Lilly and Army Hammer. I'm ah. not going to confirm nor deny. Huh. So you are intrigued enough to give this a shot, as oh. am I. Um, regardless of what Army Hammer likes to munch on in his spare time. Let's not go there. Yes, allegedly. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Well, we're not going to go there, but we are going to go check out the trailer. So hang out and we will let you know what we think afterwards. There is no greater scourge facing America from within. The president takes the opioid crisis very seriously. The kid got snagged at the border. The courier? A year of undercover work to get this far. Maybe it's dangerous to press a big sale now. Yeah, but what choice do we have? Our product will be the first truly non-addictive painkiller. What the hell is going on? All the addiction centers are lighting up. And then by day 10, they're dead. Yeah, that's not good. I'm looking for my son. Were you aware of any issues with your son? Like what? Based on your results, you want Northlight to pull their billion dollar drug. Yes. It cost you a hell of a lot more than your teaching job. I've got to have a plan. A plan for telling the truth. Careful. Should this kid get an itch to name names? Oh, no. It's for everyone. They're gonna come after you. But what you're doing now may be the most important thing you ever do. You had my son run drugs for you. This is the biggest public health crisis since tobacco! It's not our responsibility. Then whose is it? You cannot walk into that by alone. We can't quit. We can't stop. What do you think we're here to do? To make a difference? We can touch you anywhere in the world. We're running out of time. Last chance. So, we've just seen the trailer for Crisis. And you know, the whole time I was thinking, remember when, in the space of one year, Gary Oldman was Dracula, and then Gary Oldman was Drexel in True Romance. Mm. (laughs) I was so hung up on looking at Gary Oldman's face thinking, how have you played such diverse roles, dude? 
Then I got a little distracted from everything else, and my brain kind of t switched off there for a minute. And he was um, Gordon as well. Yeah, exactly. Commissioner Gordon. Jim Gordon himself. So, yeah, I... Um, I mostly picked this because of the cast, like Evangeline Lilly, who was awesome in Lost, awesome in Ant-Man and Wasp yes, as well. so good, yeah. Army Hammer, who was the Lone Ranger himself, and let's not talk about his snacks. And um, Michelle Rodriguez as well, I didn't realize was in it. There were a whole bunch of people that uh, kind of jumped out at me in the trailer, but... The cast is incredible, aside yeah. from one person. <laughs> but what did you think of the, the premise? So I guess... It, it's kind of a number of converging storylines. You've got someone who's trafficking illegal opioids. You've got um, the essentially someone who's trying to sell them in Army Hammer. You've got uh, Evangeline Lilly, whose son was a drug trafficker, who she's trying to track down and find out what happened to him. I'm getting a feeling that probably nothing good and that she might be out for revenge afterwards. Mm. Um, but uh, who knows? But yeah, it seems like a number of storylines kind of converge in the middle of this opioid crisis, and uh, stuff gets real. Yeah, I guess along with this new drug. I mean, it it kind of, it makes me uncomfortable because there are so many parallels with real life. Yeah, um, really. In terms of kind of families that are hit by the opioid crisis, and also how many um, pharmaceutical companies knowingly like increased the demand for their opioids and made them kind of more powerful, more addictive. They, you know, fudged um, scientific studies, so they looked um, like they weren't addictive when they were. And, um, you know, like there have been a ton of lawsuits and, um, like, restrictions against them. So, like, there's a lot of parallels in real life that made me uncomfortable. So I would, I'm, I'm hoping they're going to handle it in a responsible way because this is a fictionalized, like, slightly sci-fi version of, like, actual events. So I'm hoping they're going to handle it in a responsible way. I guess is, is, is yeah. kind of where I'm wary. Like, this, this is a big deal, and I'm hoping they're not going to downplay it and say, oh, well, hey, the solution is you just get rid of the green pills and everyone's fine. Like, it's a bigger issue. So I'm, I'm hoping they don't downplay it. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I am... Um... I, to me, I guess there's a fine line, right? You could trivialize it in a movie and just kind of fictionalize it, which would be a bad thing. Or you can shine a light on the problem and raise awareness about it, which would be a good thing. And mm. this to me looks like it's leaning more in that direction, mm. that it looks like a kind of a realistic, gritty take on the opioid crisis that's not shying away. Like, it doesn't look like it's blaming the drug dealers. It looks like it's blaming the big pharma companies that are making these. I'm not blaming these. the victims either. Um, yeah. That, you know, it's a bigger issue than just, oh, well, just don't take drugs and then you'll be fine. Like, the, yeah. it's kind of, yeah, that there's more to it than that. And I, I like that side of it. Yeah, well, I'm intrigued. And, you know, the action looked great. I actually really liked some of the visuals as well. There was a scene in the snow with, like, a drone footage. I'm a, such a drone geek. You've got to forgive me. Uh, with drone footage, over, like, overhead looking down, and you had the stark contrast between the white snow and there was, like, trenches in the dark mud. Um, mm. Just looked really, really cool. I like, I like some of the visuals in there as well. And I like the difference between, like, the drug deals that were happening in kind of sketchy-looking parts parking lot mm. like under bridges or something and then the pharma company that was in like this big steel and glass skyscraper mm. that looked very austere and um just you know it, it was subtle but i thought there were some really cool visuals in there and as the well contrast with that guy being busted in the wilderness literally in the snow and like the stuff that was created in those like stainless steel skyscrapers and then gets kind of trafficked through the streets where it's all grimy, and then it gets spilt across this clean snow in the wilderness. So I kind of like that journey. Yeah, really. And I hope Evangeline Lilly's character is going to go out for blood, mm. uh, you know, realize that the drug dealers are not the problem, and then carry on that vendetta against the big pharma company. Yeah. But maybe that's all just in my head. <laughs> but, uh, there we go. Well, I think, as you can tell, we're intrigued. Would you watch it? Possibly. Mm. It's promising. I mean, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I, I guess we're going to get maybe one more trailer before it releases. This is only the first trailer so far. Mm. Not had a ton of views. I don't think too many people are excited about this one. But I would give this one a shot just because of the cast. If nothing else, just for Gary Oldman. Like, mm. the dude is uh, is a rock star. So I, I'm intrigued to see where they go with this. And if you are intrigued to see where we go, well, it's not very far. Because we do this every single day. Every damn day. So we'll be back watching this stuff with you tomorrow if you want to come join us for another premiere why not what else are you doing yeah exactly what else you got going on and uh, we will therefore see you tomorrow friends on the next drunk trailer ambush peace out nerds bye shut up and sit down